What's up guys? Welcome to Genuine Code. Today we're looking at the array sum method. Uh, this method executes a callback function once for each element present in the array. So if one of the elements or the first element that passes the test that is provided in the callback function, it, um, it returns true and then um, it breaks off the loop. So in this case, we're looking for a number that is less than 20 inside the array, which uh, we find a number. And now what we're going to do, we're going to console log the number that is found in the array that is less than the condition expressed or the condition that is being tested by the callback function. So let's run this and see what the result is. So we get uh, the number 10 in index zero uh, and true, and then it breaks off the loop. So if we change it to 40, the response that we're going to get will be 10 because it's the first number in the array that is less than 40. So in this case, we have um, another array of students. And what we're going to do is to create a check availability function that will take two arguments, uh, an array and a value that we're going to pass so that we'll test it inside the sum uh, method. So the sum method will take a callback uh, that will uh, have a value. Um, I think we'll have to change this uh, value to item so that we can test the value that we pass in the check availability method with the item that is inside the sum method. So let's check um, availability and we look for Timothy. Uh, in this case, we'll also pass uh, an index and the item so that we see the value that we find. Uh, yeah, let's see the response. So there we go. We've got Timothy towards the end of the array. And now let's look for Nazia. Uh, Nazia will be at the top. So what it's going to do, it will find Nazia and then break off the loop. 